So for those of you who've been following along, know that I'm starting to create more environment scenes, and this is for an upcoming web series that I'm working on. Um, but I kind of want to share four courses that I've found. I've gone through three of the courses so far and going through the fourth one very soon, um, but let's kind of go check them out. So this first course is real-time environment design in Blender using Eevee as the main renderer for creating really nice environments. Now, it is a comprehensive four-hour crash course, and it kind of like covers everything you need to know about creating real-time environments from scratch. And it's primarily focused on scene configuration to create kind of these uh, very clean renders. Now, now it's taught by Jama. Uh, he's a professional art director and concept artist in the film industry. So this course is kind of perfect for both Blender pros and beginners because it covers uh, mega scans, texture blending, and um, advanced kind of like techniques for creating realistic environments. You kind of go through desert landscape, sunset, night scenes. You do a bit of camera animation. There's quite a bit of volumetric fog in this one. You do get a texture node blender file set up as well. But I do want to mention that this course does rely quite a bit on mega scans. But if you want to more focus on setting up scenes for Eevee, this, this might be the way to go for you. Now onto the next one, based off this dark alley scene, I picked this one up. So Shimia kind of goes through the whole process of creating this dark alley from start to finish. It's another four hour course that goes through the step-by-step -step process for creating the scene from scratch. So it's kind of like, it's really perfect for beginners. The course is divided into two parts. So first is all about learning how to make a building asset. And you kind of go through uh, preparing textures, modeling, fixing the UVs, improving materials. And it's kind of like that whole process of creating it from scratch. So that's about an hour long. And then to actually create that dark alley scene takes about three hours. And you kind of cover about importing assets, um, blocking the scene, adding details to the ground, like um, cables and neon signs, a lot of lighting, plenty of render passes. But then it goes on to kind of like enhance the render through composition, both in Blender and also in After Effects. Now, depending on what pack you get, you can get the pack with the 50 buildings that comes with it, or the 162 modular assets. Um, that also comes with the neon signs. I think there's about 70 of them. There's about eight ground scans and then a whole bunch of trash. So just the assets alone, this one's pretty good. Now the next one, the efficient environment design in Blender. This tutorial series is about 10 hours long, but it goes pretty deep into the design phase. So you go from like concept to completion and it goes pretty deep into the information around crafting the detailed scene. So you go from sketching and idea development, asset creation, texturing, mixing scans and and building optimized scenes. Quite a bit of post-processing with the Blender real-time compositor. So yeah, there's like 29 chapters, essential design rules, preparation techniques, lighting, shortcuts, scene layout strategies, which is pretty important. Um, the advanced asset creation is quite in depth, but we're also using the Quixel Mixer to create the materials, um, which is kind of like an alternate to Substance Painter. So the series is more focused at intermediate Blender users, kind of just want to get up to that next level. And there is a small caveat is that you need a bit of a grunty GPU if you're going to follow this from start to finish. There are no blend files that come with this tutorial series. This is mainly just about learning that process of creating something schmick. Now, last but not least is the Blender 4 tutorial, the ultimate environment artist guide from 3D Tutor. Now, it's a pretty comprehensive course where you go through kind of like 3D environmental creation. It more focuses on the Victorian era where, you know, I'm going for something sci-fi cyberpunkish, but it's more that that um, power of storytelling through 3D modeling that just kind of makes those models come to life. You get to cover quite a bit. There is a progressive learning curve where you go from basic to professional techniques. Um, you talk about vertex painting, shading, texturing, and that's through kind of like creating the bookshop, the inn, and like this mysterious alleyway. <laughs> but also you learn to use gray boxing and lighting, um, obviously modeling, but also using geometry nodes, which is something I'm very poor at. But at the end of the day, you come away with a pretty decent resource pack with geometry nodes and also textures. So that's kind of like my four tutorials that I'm going to be going through. Um, if you found this useful at all, please leave a comment below and I'll kind of like continue to research to find more tutorials that will um, help not only myself, but hopefully you guys as well.